Start game now. You know, Kevin Loxley was just telling me how much he enjoyed working with helicopters on his movie The Guardian, so it's no surprise that he would bring with him today Choplifter for the Sega Master System, a mega cartridge. And looking at the box art here, or lack thereof, it looks like someone doodled a picture of a helicopter on their graph paper in geometry class. So yeah, not a not lot going on there, but let's go ahead and take Choplifter and put it into our power base converter and see how it flies today. Let's go to the game. Choplifter was published by Sega for the Master System in 1986. It's based on the 1985 Sega arcade game, which itself is based on the original 1982 computer game by Bruderbund. So yes, this version I'm playing today is a port of a port. Choplifter is an action game for one or two players alternating. In it, you control the Hawk Z helicopter and are trying to rescue hostages in one of three stages. Each stage has 64 hostages held in four separate areas. Rescue 40 of them and you get to move on to the next stage. Beat all three stages and you will start back at the beginning with higher difficulty and slight changes such as the first stage now taking place at night. You start the game with three lives, lose all three and game over. However, every time you complete a stage, you start the next stage with three lives again, no matter how many lives you lost in the previous stage. You use the D-pad to fly, land, and take off. Button 1 fires machine guns when facing right or left, which will destroy most targets, but when you are facing forward and press button 1, you will drop bombs instead, which are needed for targets such as the tanks. Pressing button 2 changes your direction. You start the game facing left, but pressing button 2 once will face you forward. Pressing it again will face you right, then forward again, and then left. Graphically speaking, I think the game looks pretty good. It's nice and colorful, but it does suffer from some flicker when there's a lot of items on screen, such as when you're rescuing hostages. I really enjoyed the sound of music in the game, and I thought they were really catchy. Family friendly wise, you can kill your own hostages if you're not careful, but there is no blood. On eBay, Choplifter typically sells for between $6 and $9 loose and $10 to $15 complete, and as always, that includes shipping. So what did I think of Choplifter? Well, I found it very tough, but fun. I was only able to get to the second level on my own and used a cheat code that I will share later to get to level 3, but I quickly died there. Sometimes it can be difficult to hit targets due to how fast you fly, and it may take you a little bit to find where hostages are being held. For instance, in level 2, some hostages were held in a sub and you have to land on water to get them. And typically, games tell us water is one of the deadliest substances on Earth and never touch it, but not in this case. But nonetheless, despite some of these holdbacks, I enjoyed my time with Choplifter and could see myself playing it again. So where am I going to rank it? Well, I've only ranked one other game on the Master System, Dead Angle, and I enjoyed Choplifter a whole lot more than that, so let's make Choplifter number one and Dead Angle number two. Choplifter, it's hard, it flickers, but it's pretty fun as well. If you enjoy retro videos like this, would you please click the like and subscribe buttons? I'd really appreciate that. Thank you guys for giving me a little part of your day, and I look forward to seeing you next time on the next episode of The Nose for Gamer. Take care, everybody.